coming up, 3D printing a drone trophy. Adafruit's Drony Film Festival is one of the first film fests for drones, and today we're gonna build the trophy and 3D print the parts using bronze fill. We think this will be one of the best online film contests for drones, so we had to design a cool award with 3D printing and metal filament. Our creative director, Bruce Yan, created the artwork for Drony. And Drony is basically our friendly, cuddly gumdrop looking character that really represents Adafruit's make robot friends mantra. So I started by importing Bruce's artwork into CAD to create the basic shapes for building the trophy. The parts had to be broken up into pieces so that they could fit inside our rotary tumbler. So these parts are gonna look really polished when they go through the tumbler. And if you haven't already, check out our video on polishing techniques over here. So when printing with bronze fill, you're gonna to wanna to have loose tolerances on your snap fit designs to compensate for expansion while printing. I slice these parts with a bit more infill and outline overlap. Extra top and bottom layers help close off the surface while more shells lets the surface withstand hours of tumbling. Now on to printing the parts. So large parts tend to be difficult to remove from the build plate, so I found it easier to use two spatulas, one to peel the corner and a second one to slide underneath. Printing at 100 microns on the Type A machine works really well, especially with bronze fill, and I set printing speeds around 40 millimeters a second to help retain surface quality. Some of the parts are of course easier to remove than others, so it's important to do it slowly and carefully. It can be a little dangerous, you could break the part or hurt yourself, so I tend to be pretty careful. These parts tend to come out with stringy bits due to retraction and oozing, but this can easily be cleaned up using diagonal flush snips and a hobby knife to get in between all of the nooks and crannies. I let the parts tumble for about one to two hours and use stainless steel screws as the medium. Using different size screws actually help polish the smaller details. The parts came out looking polished and have that bronze cast look. They're really shiny and it feels just like metal. I mean, the weight of this stuff is what makes it really cool. For making the prop bits, we actually use the amber printer from Autodesk. These tiny parts are perfect for DLP SLA printers and they came out with amazing detail and clear resin. To secure the tower piece to the base of the trophy, I used E6000 to bond them together. The bottom part has recessed fittings for the prop arms and they just snap into place. The tolerances came out pretty good with an offset of 0.4 millimeters, which gives it a slight snap fit. A bit of E6000 adhesive will permanently bond these parts together. I used the clamp that locks so I can hold it in place tightly while I let the adhesive cure. For the propellers, we wanted them to actually spin, so I had to design it in several parts. The prop piece has a hole in the middle, so a studding can be inserted and held in place with the lock nut. The studding piece itself has a cool little cap on top, which really finishes it off. There's a cavity on the bottom of the prop arm for the lock nut to snap into, and we'll just glue it in place. And that's pretty much how we made the props freely spin. I thought it'd be cool to use magnets so the drony could come off the trophy base. And this kind of gives it a bit of freedom, which I think is pretty cool. And now we have Drony, a 3D printed trophy and metal filament. So if you're thinking about using metal filaments in your next 3D printed project, check out this stuff from ColorFab. You can pick up some bronze fill and copper fill in the Adafruit shop. And you can even get yourself a discount coupon code on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Check the link in the description. Overall, we think this is a pretty cool trophy for a very special film festival. So do you want to win this trophy? All you gotta do is make something amazing with drones and use hashtag Drony. More details are coming soon, so check the Adafruit blog and social accounts for more info. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printed projects from Adafruit. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Remember to make, share, repeat. Bye everybody. Trophy. Drony trophy. Shh.